What's up fam? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Natalie and this is my channel, Music to Makeup. Telling me there'll be better days. Yeah. My intuition is telling me there'll be better days. Like Yeah. My intuition is telling me there'll be better so, today's video is going to be my top 10 favorite highlighters. <sighs> Highlighting is life. So, I have everything from high end to drugstore. So, if you love highlighting, would like to see some really good highlighters and just my personal favorites, then keep on watching and if you do like this video and these types of videos please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe duh as if anyways <laughs> all right so i won't babble this time it's a first for me but let's get into my top 10 favorite hair okay so my first one is going to be this anastasia beverly hills um, highlighter in Starlight. So here is what it looks like. This came out with, oh, I think it's been a while now, but they had another color I wanted. It was, oh, like Hollywood Glam or something, but it was always sold out. So I ended up getting this one, but I really do like it. So let me. It is like a very like light champagne, which I think actually works better for my skin tone. So these highlighters are mostly going to be for fair skin because I am like Casper White, but there are some that can be used with darker skin tones. So. really hard to see but I love Anastasia Beverly Hills formula and in my opinion because I believe it's a different formula as the ones that are in her glow palettes but I'm not positive they feel and apply like different formulas I prefer the ones in the glow palette which is why this is number 10 but I do love the color okay so number nine is going to be this wet n wild mega glow highlighting powder in precious petals so this is a very beautiful like how am I going to explain this? It is like a peachy champagne gold. I don't even know if that's such a thing, but it is just so beautiful. It Sometimes it can be a little too dark for me. This would really be great on someone with darker skin. But I do love using this when I have, I'm using like a very like casual book and because it's, it's blinding, but it's not like crazy blinding. And it also it just, because it's a darker color, it gives more of a subtle glow. So, but I mean, it's only like three or $4. So this is a good highlighting formula. Moving on to number eight. Number eight is going to be, it's like so worn off, you can't even see the name anymore, but it's the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. And this is like an OG classic highlighter. Oh, this doesn't give like, like a bling bling highlight, but it's not subtle, subtle either. It's like right in between. Oh my god, I love this. Like, look at that. Oh my god. Oh. And it is just the perfect 
gold highlighter. It is not like warm tone, so you know, warm with warm tone golds, you can only like wear those with certain looks. It is like the perfect like neutral toned gold, and I mean, you can build it up to be blinding. It is just so gorgeous, and it goes with so many different things and a lot of different skin tones. Oh, I love this one so much. Okay. <laughs> Number seven. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in Molten Gold. Now, this is the best drugstore formula for highlighters I have ever tried. I have two other ones. I have like the Rose Molten Gold and then it's like a holographic one, but this is my favorite one. So... <sighs> This is a little bit more warm toned than the Laura Geller. Hopefully, hold on. I don't know if you can tell, but it is definitely has like a warm undertone to it, whereas the Laura Geller is a more neutral toned. But for a drugstore highlighter, this shit is the bomb, like no joke. Number six. Number six is going to be my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Pearl. For my fair girls out there, this, like, ex I'm talking extremely fair. Not like I wear like the second or third darkest shade, like sometimes, it, this is for girls where it's like sometimes the lightest shade is too dark. This will be your best friend, your lover. This will give you life. This, I mean, we all know Becca's highlighty, highlighters are probably the best formula out there. And this is just like a beautiful icy white. And if you are fair like me, it will it give you a life. I mean, look at that. I love, love, love this. And I, another reason I love it is because this can be used with, you know, cool or warm toned looks because it's just pure, like, white pearl. Beautiful. Yeah, number five. So, I was a little, he little hesitant to include this one in my list because it is, I think my lash is coming off, <laughs> um, because it is a very recent addition to my makeup collection, but I have just been loving it. So, and I think this is really good because this will work for all skin type, skin tones. So it is the Glam Glow Glow Starter or something Glow Glow Powder and it is infused with hyaluronic acid and it has the like Glam Glow scent of like their Glow Starter moisturizer, their setting spray. It basically smells like an orange dreamsicle. And this formula, I love this formula. So it has three different colors. It has like an icy white, it has a gold, and then it has like topaz, I would, or I don't know what I would call that, maybe like a bronze. They just smell so good. And they are just so like buttery and they just, they're also very buildable. You can get a subtle glow from this, but it could also be built up to a blinding highlight. And for this darker one, it's too dark for me to use as a highlighter, but I have been using it like over my bronzer, just to kind of give my, if I want to give my bronzer some glow.
and I just, this packaging is everything, oh my god. It's like a rubbery material, but pink, and the word glow, like, I just want to, like, put it, oh, how cute is that? We're just going to leave it there for now. <laughs> my number four highlighter is this Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 1. I know it says powder, but it, it actually is a highlight. And this is a really like large size too. This is, it is the most like gorgeous, subtle highlight. But you can build this one up as well. But if you're looking for something, so this is matte, so it's not gonna have any shimmer or glitter in it, but it is gonna give you a beautiful glow. So, and I was also using this as a buffing powder. Like, it's subtle enough to where I can put it all over my face if I want to. But then it can also be built up. I love, I've been using this a lot. I'm not much into subtle highlight, but this, just this shade and the formula are so amazing that I'm like, I don't care. I'm going to wear it. Number My number three favorite highlighter is going to be the Becca Skin Perfector Pressed in, hold on. <laughs> okay, there was someone at my door. I was like, who the fuck is at my door? Like, I'm not expecting anyone. So I like creep up and like try to be all ninja-like and like look through the peephole but I couldn't see because of my lashes, so I just opened the door, and I'm like, oh yeah, I ordered pizza. <laughs> like, I completely forgot. My number two favorite highlighter is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Celestial. <laughs> this bottle is like completely empty. I don't know if you can see I have a backup though, don't worry, because these are essential to my makeup routine. <sighs> They're very expensive. Oh, but Makeup Forever, I mean Makeup Revolution has an awesome dupe. Like I wish I could return my full bottle, well they just don't have the same color, but <sighs> these drops. life. I use these almost every day. Um, I mix them in with my foundation and I swear they just make every foundation look and apply better. But they are liquid highlighter so you can use them that way as well. You can, there's so many different ways you can use them. I mean look at that. It is just like liquid metallic goodness oh my god like I just want to like bathe in it it's just so gorgeous and I I've also used these like as eyeshadows there are just so universal so many different ways you can use them and they are just oh, gorge like I could not live without these anymore it's like how did I ever live without them before Okay, drum roll. <sighs> My number one favorite highlighting product is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero collaboration glow palette. I have used this almost every single day since it has come out which I think has been like an entire year almost it is just the perfect highlighting palette it is so perfect okay <clears throat> I love that it has a pink and it's not a holographic pink it is just so this is kitty cat oh my gosh I love this for like my pink looks <sighs> And then my favorite color of all is <clears throat> Forever Lit, this icy white one down here. Because I'm so fair, clearly. Like, I'm almost to pan on it. 
Look at that. Like, look at that. And then I'm, so I'm wearing that one on the inner corner of my eyes. And then, hold on, let me wipe. Then, so the next one, Forever Young. It's like a beautiful, like, kind of champagne top. So I am wearing this one on my brow bone and on my cheeks because I felt it went with the makeup look very well. So the next one is Glow Getter and one of the reasons I love this palette so much is there is the warm toned gold here and then the neutral toned gold here. So like this is the perfect palette to travel with because there is a shade in here for any look you could possibly think of. And I just think these colors can work on so many different skin tones too. Like they work on me and even the gold too. Like sometimes it can be a little bit dark but they still work on me and I think they can also work on other skin tones as well. So. This has become my favorite, even though it's a palette, my favorite highlighting product. So those are my top 10 favorite highlighters. Let me know in the comment what your favorite highlighter is. I am very curious to know. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Alright guys, I will see you in my next video.